Hello students. In this video we are going to study about Latimer diagram. In redox reactions we used to deal with Latimer diagram, Frost diagram, Poorbeck's diagram and Ellingham diagram. Each diagram has its own limitations and advantages. So in this video we are going to study Latimer diagram. Latimer diagram is very important. There are many questions asked in the previous uh, uh, years competitive exams. Okay, so what is Latimer diagram? Latimer diagram, say for example A3 plus, it is converted into A2 plus. Again, A2 plus is reduced into A plus, A plus is reduced into A0. Okay, so this is a, a sequential reduction reactions. 3 plus to 2 plus, 2 plus to plus, plus to 0. Okay. Overall 3 steps. Okay. That can be more than 3 steps. That doesn't matter. The idea, the point that you need to remember here is the same species everywhere, A only. Okay. Same element, but different oxidation states. Okay. And the highest oxidation state is at the left terminus. Lowest oxidation state is at the right terminus. Okay. So the standard reduction potential for each step, each half reaction is mentioned just above the above the arrow. E2, E3. Okay. This is all about Latimer diagram. Okay. So it is the simplest representation of uh, reduction potential of each half reactions when a same species undergoes a sequence of reduction reactions. Okay, same species, different oxidation states. Okay, to represent that we use Latimer diagram. Okay, the highest oxidation state at the left end, lowest oxidation state is at the right end. Okay, that is all about Latimer diagram. Okay, what is the application of this? Application 1, the, the most important application is, the first application is to find out, to find out, to find out E0, standard reduction potential of any half reaction, R is the standard reduction potential for the entire sequence, okay, E total, or E net, okay. Reduction potential for individual half reactions are the entire sequence. That can be calculated. Second application is to find out whether a reaction, whether a species, species undergoes disproportionation reaction. Disproportionation reaction. Okay. To find out E0 are to find out whether a species undergoes disproportionation reaction. These are the two main applications. Okay, so we are going to see these two applications with the help of some old questions asked in the competitive exams. Okay, let's see the first one. How to find out E0 or E net? Okay, we know that delta G free energy change, standard free energy change is equal to minus NFE. Zero. We know that N is number of electrons involved in that particular half reaction. F is Faraday. E is standard reduction potential. Okay. So if we know the values of N and E zero, we can find out the delta G. Okay. Right. So if we take this entire reaction, A three plus two A, A three plus two A. Here. If I assume that this is delta G1, delta G2, delta G3, okay, and here A3 plus 2A, okay, A3 plus 2A, this is delta G net, delta G net, okay, so this can be written this way, delta G net is equal to delta G1, plus delta G2 plus delta G3. We know that delta G net minus N F E 
0 net and here n is equal to 1 n1 is equal to 1 n2 is equal to 1 n3 is equal to 1 okay every step a 3 plus 2 2 plus 1 reaction is accepted so n is equal to 1 here 2 plus 2 plus 1 reaction so everywhere okay a plus 2 a n is equal to n3 is equal to 1 okay so n1 minus n1 f is 0 1 minus n2 f is 0 2 minus n3 f is 0 3 okay this is what the method that we are going to use okay so if we know the values of n and if we know the values of individual reduction potential e1 e2 e3 we can find out e net or e net we know e1 we know e2 we know we can find out e3 okay so let's see this with the help of a problem asked in neat exam 2017 okay look at this the electrode potentials of first reaction cu2 plus 2 cu plus cu plus 2 cu okay two half reactions the electrode potentials are 0.15 volt and 0 0.50 volt respectively the value of e cu2 plus to cu four options are given okay so the question goes like this cu2 plus is reduced into cu plus the reduction potential for this reaction is 0 0.15 volt then Cu plus is reduced into Cu. Here the reduction potential is 0 0.50. Now we use the Latimer diagram for solving this uh, problem. Okay. The question, the question asked is for this one. Cu 2 plus 2 Cu. This is what the question. I mean 2 plus 2 Cu. Okay. That is E net. E net. E net only is asked. Okay. So now. What is number of electron here for the first step? First step, N1 is equal to 1. And here, plus 2, 0. Here, N2 is equal to 1. And here, Cu2 plus 2 Cu. N is equal to 2. Okay, 2 plus 2 Cu. N is 2 electrons involved. Okay, so now let us apply our formulas. Okay, so delta G net is equal to delta G1 plus delta G2. Okay, delta G net is what? Minus NF E net minus N1 F E1 minus N2 F E2. Okay, what is substitute the values N? Here n is equal to 2. Okay. F E net. Here n is equal to 1. So minus F E1. Here is also n2 is equal to 1. So uh, F E2. So cancel all the F. Cancel all the negative values. So E net. 2 E net is equal to E1 plus E2 is equal to E net is equal to E1 plus E2 by 2. Substitute the values E1 that is 0.15 E2 that is that is 0.50 by 2 the answer is the answer is 0 0.325 volt okay that is e net okay cu2 plus to cu so b is the answer okay and the second application is as i said to to find out whether a reaction undergoes disproportionation reaction or not Okay, what is disproportionation? Take for example, um, Cu plus. It it is converted into Cu two plus plus Cu. Look at the first 
Cu plus 2 Cu. This is oxidation or reduction? Oxidation. Gain of one electron. Look at the second one. Cu plus 2 Cu. This is reduction. Okay. I'm sorry. The previous case, loss of one electron. A loss of one electron. And here, gain of one electron. Okay. So, same species undergoes oxidation as well as reduction simultaneously. This is called disproportionation reaction. Okay. So, the Latimer diagram can be used to detect, to identify whether a particular species undergoes uh, disproportionation reaction or not. Okay. How can we? How is it done? Okay. Take for example, A3 plus a2 plus A plus A. Assume that the reduction potential of this step is 0 0.8 volt and here it is 0 0.4 volt. Here it is 0 0.5 volt. Okay. Now look at each species and see the reduction potential on its right and left. If E right E right is greater than E left, okay, then that species undergoes disproportionation reaction. If the reverse, it doesn't undergo disproportionation reaction, okay. Remember, E right, say for example, uh, this is A2 plus, let us see the right hand side, 0.4, E left, 0.5. So, right is smaller than left, so A2 plus doesn't undergo disproportionation. But here, see the right and left, E right is greater, okay, E right is greater than E left. So, this undergoes, A plus undergoes disproportionation reaction, okay. So, this is all about uh, delta E values, sorry, E cell values, okay. So, this one is reduction, this one is oxidation, understand, A plus undergoes reduction as well as oxidation oxidation okay so um, e cell is equal to e cathode minus e anode okay e anode e cathode is how much okay e cathode is 0.8 e anode is 0.4 so the value is 0.4 volt okay so this is a positive value this is positive if E is positive, E0 is positive, delta G will be minus NFE, NFE, E is positive means delta G will be negative. Delta G is negative means reaction is feasible. Delta G is positive, reaction is not feasible, okay. So, delta G is negative, delta G is negative for that, delta, uh, for that E cell, E C is 0 cell should be positive okay so in that case delta is uh, so in that case e cell is positive that is why delta g is negative that is what all about so you don't have to confuse see the right hand side and left hand side e right and e left e right is greater than e left the reaction the species undergoes disproportionation because for that species delta g will be negative okay e are greater this proportion is possible. Okay. Let's see this uh, question asked in Jan. In the following Latimer diagram, the species that undergoes disproportionation reaction is, okay, this one, two, three, four, five step reaction. Okay. Look at first step. Uh, look at this one, this species. MnO4 3 minus. Look at the right and left. E right is greater than E left. So, this undergoes disproportionation. Next one. Right is smaller than left. So, no disproportionation. This one. Right is smaller than left. No. Here. Both are negative And right is more negative. That means right is smaller than left. No disproportionation. So, only this species. Answer is B. Okay. Hope you understand. Please go through your textbook and work out more problems. Okay, we'll meet in the next video with some other topic. Wish you all the very best. Thank you very much.